Allah Akbar. Confusing reports persist that chemical weapons of some kind have been used in Syria. President Obama says that would be a red line. But administration critics charge that red line is turning pink. The president went to the Middle East and said, this is a hard decision. If I go in, it might be wrong. If I don't go in, it might be wrong. Indecision in this case is dangerous to the United States. No one wants American boots on the ground, but Rogers and others want the Obama administration to train and equip Syrian opposition fighters it trusts. And the New York Times reports the CIA is stepping up efforts to help Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Turkey get weapons to the opposition. But the political wing of the opposition is in disarray. Its president, Moaz al-Khatib, who stood side by side with Secretary of State John Kerry just three weeks ago, abruptly resigned. It's not about one person. It's about President Assad. It's about a regime that is killing its own people. It's about an opposition that is bigger than one person. And that opposition will continue. <laughs> And the split between the opposition's civilian leaders and its fighters is growing, the rebels rejecting a new provisional prime minister. One expert on Syria says the country now is headed for a complete meltdown if the Obama administration doesn't stop hedging its bets. We waited. It didn't get any better. President Assad is not stepping aside. And the opposition is becoming more extremist because they're the ones who are receiving the political support and the arms. Ironically, this lack of unity among the opposition is only reinforcing the Obama administration's belief that it should continue to be cautious in what kind of assistance it's providing the opposition. Jill Doherty, CNN, the State Department.